Hello everyone, it is Miss Liz and I am back with another fall tested program for everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to make your very own candy apple nachos at home using the ingredients in your make and take kits that was provided by the library. So if you all would like, grab those kits, head on down to your kitchen, I'm going to go to mine and we're going to get this party started. First thing we are going to do to get this program started is unload our make and take kits that you picked up from the library. In that kit should be two apples, some caramel pieces, some peanuts, some M&Ms, a Snickers bar, a Kit Kat bar, a Hershey bar, and some candy corn. In addition to the ingredients provided in your make and take kits, feel free to use whatever items you have at home in your own kitchen that you would like to add. So here you can see we have peanut butter, chocolate chips, pretzels, chocolate sprinkles, chocolate syrup, marshmallows, and whipped cream. They are your apple nachos, so feel free to put whatever sweet toppings you would like on top of your nacho plate. Once you have all your ingredients assembled, it is time to get this nacho plate going. The first step in making our candy apple nachos is to make sure that you slice your apples into your apple chips. So how we do this is by cutting our apple into four slices using the core as your middle guide. If you are nervous about cutting stuff with sharp knives, do not worry. Feel free to ask your grown-up for help, I'm sure they would love to help you. Once you have those four pieces, what I like to do is turn the apple upside down and slice those quarters into chips. You can make them as thick or as thin as you would like. It is your apple nachos and you can make them however you prefer. I make mine kind of thin, but you know, we like to have a good crunch on them. Once the first apple is done, we're just going to do the same exact thing with our other apple, making some apple chips. Once your apples are all sliced, it is time to start assembling them on your dish. So what you're going to do is find a big dinner plate and start putting your apples on it as if they were nacho chips. Now, here's a time where you can really let your creativity shine. You can put them in a pattern. You can make them into a design. You can plop them on your plate like I'm doing and figure it out as you go. However you want your apple nachos to look, there is no wrong way. It is your dish, so it is however you would like to present them. Just play around with it and have fun and make sure they look exactly the way you want them to. After your apples are all sliced and arranged on the plate, you are going to set that to the side and we are going to make our caramel sauce. So you are going to take a bowl and put about two tablespoons of water in it. Open up those caramel pieces that came in your make and take kit and throw them in the water. Once all of your caramel pieces are in the water, you are going to take that bowl and stick it in the microwave for about 30 seconds to make our caramel sauce. Once you take those caramels out of the microwave, you are going to take a spoon and stir it around. The water should start turning a murky caramel color, and that is exactly what you want. You will notice that this mixture is a little watery and that is because what we're going to do is make a caramel sauce that soaks into our apples. It doesn't sit on top so it um, lessens the sticky fingers that you may get when you're eating it and instead gives you a mixture that actually really soaks into each apple. So to me this is a special tip that I like to do on my apples that makes them a little bit different than other caramel apples that you might eat and definitely makes them unique and different from other apple nachos out there. So please give it a try. It is really cool and it's my secret tip when I'm making this sweet treat. Once that caramel sauce is all mixed together, you are going to take that spoon and drizzle it all over your apple chips. Now for this step, make sure to douse each and every apple slice with your caramel mixture to ensure that they get that sweet goodness soaked up in there. 
You can drizzle it on in a pattern. You can dump the whole thing on however you want to do it. These are your apple nachos, so go for it. Just have fun and make sure to use a lot of caramel because it is really the best part. After the caramel is drizzled all over your apple chips, you are going to set them aside and grab the chocolate bars that were included in your make and take kit. And we are going to cut these up to make the toppings for our chips. So here I'm going to start with the Kit Kat bar, but you guys can do your chocolate in whatever order you'd like. You are just going to chop them up into tiny small bits. So if you're a little bit younger or you have smaller fingers, now might be a good time to grab your grown up and ask them to help you chop up your chocolate and then you can have all the fun taking that chocolate and putting them all over your chips in whatever design or fashion you'd like. After all of your chopped up candy are on your apple nachos, you are going to take the M&Ms that were included in your make and take kit and sprinkle them on. Then we are going to take our candy corn and you're gonna dump those all over get them everywhere make it really fun really festive nothing says fall better than candy corn does and lastly what was included in your make and take kit were some peanuts so this is a good time to sprinkle those on once you've used all of the ingredients in your making take kit this is the time when you can really let your creativity fly find whatever ingredients you had in your kitchen such as marshmallows or chocolate sprinkles and layer those on top of your apple nachos and just go crazy. So what you'll see here is me adding on my extra ingredients to my apple nachos. I'm going to start with some whipped cream right in the middle. What I really like doing is taking the apple slices and dipping this into it. I am also then going to take some chocolate syrup and make a pretty circle around it just because who doesn't want to add more chocolate to apples? It is my favorite so the more chocolate the better, you can't go wrong. But like I said, you guys are free to use whatever you have at home, peanut butter, anything like that. I'm gonna sprinkle a few more peanuts on top because peanuts are my favorite topping for apples. It gives them a nice salty crunch. And I'm also going to add some crushed up pretzels to it just to make them super crunchy and super salty. Nothing to me says fall treat like salty and sweet in the same bite. But this is totally subjective and you can add whatever you'd like. So here is my completed plate of candy apple nachos in all of its sugary delicious glory. As you can see I start with taking an apple slice, dipping it in the whipped cream, and ensuring I get all the bites on it that I want. Feel free to eat them however you'd want, in whatever way you want, and make sure to share them with your family because this sweet treat is delicious and needs to be shared with everyone. Thank you all so much for joining me for this delicious program. I hope you all enjoy your candy apple nachos at home as much as I'm about to enjoy my plate. They are a sweet treat, perfect for any cold, crisp fall day. So I hope you enjoy them and I hope you share them with your family. If you made these candy apple nachos at home and want to share a picture, I would love to see your culinary creations. Please feel free to send me an email at the email address below with your candy apple nachos. I can't wait to see what you all made. I hope you enjoy them and have a great day and I will see you all soon.